Okay, uh, let's look at the last and uh, I think coolest problem from the 2019 Google Code Jam qualification round. Uh, so this was the, the interactive problem on the set. Um, so the setup for the problem was uh, you gave them a string uh, of zeros and ones. They would delete some indices from the string and hand, hand it back to you. Uh, and after a few guesses, you were supposed to figure out uh, which indices got deleted. Uh, so, so what are the, the constraints here? So the strings are of length up to 1,000. Uh, in most, 15 indices got deleted. And in the hard test case, you get five guesses. That's not very many. Uh, so yeah, how does this problem work? Um, I think there's probably, uh, I, I imagine that there's a number of solutions, possible solutions to this, but I'll just tell you about the one that I thought of. Um, so the idea is that uh, we're guessing, I'm going to make exactly four guesses, actually. I don't even need the last one. Uh, so the guesses are going to be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, like this, alternating between zeros and ones for the length of the string. Uh, and then in blocks of two, and then in blocks of four, and then in box of eight. Okay, and these just keep going. Uh, and that's all we're going to need to figure out the problem. Uh, so the idea is that we're going to step through the return values. Uh, and we're going to figure out which index in the original string uh, each, each of the uh, return strings corresponds to. Um, and so the things that we skipped over uh, are the things that got deleted. Uh, so we know that we skipped over at most 15 things because b is less than or equal to 15. Uh, so that's super helpful um, because this this pattern of guesses uh, gives us a very useful property, which is it lets us figure out um, from from sort of a column of answers, right? One of these columns tells you uh, what your index is mod 16, right? So for example, this first column sort of in binary, 0, 0, 0, 0, it's just 0, so the index is 0. This column is uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, so it's 1 mod 16. 0, 1, 0, 0 is 2 in binary, so this index is 2 mod 16, you know, 3 and so on. And here's 15, 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, and then back at index 16, all of these uh, reset to zeros to all zeros, and so this this pattern just continues for every block of sixteen. Um, and so we just reading the column in binary it tells you uh, what your index is mod sixteen, and that's exactly what we need because uh, we know that at most we skipped at most fifteen things. Uh, so we know that our index uh, our index mod sixteen is enough to tell us how much stuff got skipped. Right, we don't need to worry, like, we're in a block of 16. Uh, that's uh, knowing that, right, sorry. So we have our current, we have our current position, and we want to figure out uh, where the next index is. Uh, and we know that, maybe, maybe it's, it's easier just to, okay, so consider, First index. Uh, at most, 15 things got deleted. So the first index uh, of the return strings be, uh, one of indices 0, 1, 2, 15 uh, from the original string. One. Uh, down the column of our guess values, we can find the index mod 16. Uh, it's just the Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so that's the idea. Um, that I just wrote down. Uh, for, so as we're stepping through the return strings, uh, we want to know how many to skip from the original string. And we can figure out where we are in the return string, uh, within a block of 16 anyway, by reading down the column. That tells us where we are in mod 16. Uh, and since we know that we can't have gone too far, because you can only skip 15 things, so that actually just tells us where we are. Um, OK, so how does this actually look? Uh, so just going through the indices of the return string, figure out where we are in mod 16. And while our current position is not correct mod 16, then we know we must have skipped that index. And uh, we can increment our index that we're on. So eventually, we're going to find the right index. And then we can just skip past that. Uh, and that's basically it. Um, so now we've gone through the entire return string. There may be some stuff at the end that got deleted. Uh, so go ahead and do that. And then just print out the answer. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically the whole problem. Um, and I have this guess function that just constructs the, uh, the strings that I mentioned. Um, Right, just these alternating blocks of zeros and ones, starting with zeros. So that's, that's that's the magic that's happening here. Uh, and then we're just doing the interaction here. Um, yeah, so that's problem D. Uh, cool interactive problem. Hope you get more of those.